In his first interview since he testified before the Mueller grand jury, Rob Goldstone maintains it was not his email that caused the infamous Trump Tower meeting to happen, but a series of phone calls it provoked between Donald Trump Jr. and a Russian pop star who was his client. You have been called a wide variety of names over the past year. Useful idiot, dunce, clown, bonkers, puppet of the Kremlin. I've been called much more than that as well. Ultimately, I was a publicist who wrote an email on behalf of my client. His client was a billionaire Russian pop star known as Emin, son of one of Russia's wealthiest developers, Aris Agalerov. They were introduced to me by people that knew them as the Trumps of Russia. The email Rob Goldstone wrote on their behalf to Donald Trump Jr. is perhaps the most analyzed email ever written, a focus of the Mueller investigation. In it, Goldstone asked Don Jr. to meet with a lawyer from the Russian government willing to provide dirt on Hillary Clinton. Don Jr.'s reply, if it's what you say, I love it. Do you regret sending this? I regret not listening to the little voice in my head, the same one that made me say to Emin, no good can come from this and this is a bad idea. Fast forward to June 9th, 2016. At Trump Tower, Rob Goldstone escorts three Russians and a translator to the 25th floor conference room. One of the Russians who attended the meeting had previously been associated with Russian intelligence. Did you know that at the time? Not only did I not know that at the time, but I'd forgotten that there were going to be multiple Russians attending. Goldstone says he didn't intend to stay, but Don Jr. asked him to. Also in the room, Paul Manafort and Jared Kushner. Instead of the promised dirt on Clinton, the Russian lawyer read from a memo about American sanctions on Russia and restrictions on adoption. At which point Jared Kushner said, I have no idea what you're talking about. Could you possibly refocus? And to my horror, she started this monotonous presentation at exactly the same place where she'd begun and repeated it. Don Jr. stood up and said, I really don't know why you would address this to us. My father's a private citizen. I suggest you address it to the Obama administration. They're in power. So the reason they were frustrated is because what you had suggested and what we presume Emin suggested in the phone call, the dirt on Hillary Clinton, didn't was transpire. Goldstone says he thought the meeting had been an utter disaster. Yet despite that, the Russians pushed for more meetings after Donald Trump was elected president. Goldstone says he doesn't think they ever happened. So you would agree with the intelligence officials, both past and present, who say that this was most likely a Russian probe to the Trump campaign? I mean, I can't say that definitively. I'm willing to believe that I don't know who wanted this meeting. It was pointed out many times what I had written in my email wasn't what was being investigated or questioned, it was the willingness to receive that information that was important. And, and I, possibly a crime. And possibly a crime. But it was a dirty offer. Yes. It was a dirty offer that they accepted. Yes, that is true. That didn't materialize, but yes, it's the willingness to accept it. This is what Steve Bannon had to say about the meeting. Three senior guys in the campaign thought it was a good idea to meet with the foreign government inside Trump Tower in the conference room on the 25th floor with no lawyers. Even if you thought that this was not treasonous or unpatriotic, and I happen to think it's all of that, you should have called the FBI immediately. Do you understand why he says that? There was a campaign chairman in that meeting. Jared Kushner was at meeting. People have said to me, shouldn't I have known? Well, shouldn't they have known? Do you think President Trump knew about the meeting prior to it taking place? I don't definitively know if he knew or he didn't, but it was taking place in his conference room and it was taking place with his campaign chair sitting and attending the meeting as well as his son and his son-in-law. So 
It's a bit of a stretch to believe that he doesn't know what's going on. It also goes against this, what we perceive as the relationship between Don Jr. and his father. He wants to please his father. He thinks he may have gotten his hands on something that would be very useful. I also think it's interesting that there's a similar dynamic between Don Jr. and his father and Emin and his father. It's like they did it for daddy, both of them. An attorney for the Aguilera's told NBC News, quote, it is absolutely false that anyone from the Russian government or Russian intelligence services asked the Aguilera's to arrange the meeting. Whoever voiced these allegations is simply making it up. Now, he's talked to the grand jury, as you mentioned. Um, he's, why is he speaking out now? Why is he doing public interview? Well, he, he says that he has been so misrepresented and he wanted to tell his story, and he is telling his story in a new book. You know, he says some of his friends have called him a traitor and said to him, they hope that w what happens to traitors happens to him. And he says, the last I knew, that was execution. So he's hoping that this book will help put what he sees as his his explanation for the circumstances out there. Okay. All right, Cynthia, fascinating. Thank you. Thank you.